Hi, it's Inez and I'm back with another recipe. This one's called Maple Bacon Craft. And this one was also one that I took over to Tina and Danny's house. And this one was a really good one. This is a perfect appetizer to take over to a friend's house or for a family function. And it's super easy. Um, as you can see, I'm cooking up the bacon. I just cut it in the package by four slices or quarters dump it in. You don't want it to get too crispy because um, we're going to be baking also the rest of it into the oven. Um, from my last video, my son uh, suggested I might wear some lipstick today. <laughs> I guess he told me to Kardashian it up or some other verbiage like that now. So this is going to, this is, uh, won't take too long. So we'll go ahead and get that going, and then the next segment will continue the rest of the recipe. So this is what the bacon will look like when it's done cooking. You can see it's still kind of pink because it's gonna bake through in the oven as well. So definitely have an apron. This is definitely an apron cooking project. Do you like my apron? It's kind of special to me. It um, was given to me, actually, I got a gift towel from one of the students in my class. I'm also a Montessori preschool teacher, so I got this really cute towel with the bunny rabbit. It was like one of those really expensive ones, like from Anthropology. And of course, I didn't want to even use the dish towel, so I asked my handy mother-in-law, who's wonderful with sewing, and she came back and she had pieced together my apron. I love it, it's my favorite apron. I do have a few others, but this one's my favorite. And not only that, my mother-in-law, she likes to make me purses for my birthday, so I love it. Okay, so this time, you're just poking holes through the dough, kind of like the poke cake, I suppose. But what we're gonna do first is put maple syrup. Now we're just gonna need a quarter cup at first. So we're just kind of getting it in there. And then we're gonna top with the bacon. Kind of spread that a little bit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Jonas is already, his mouth is already watering. This will go through the, uh, the holes in the dough. So um, the, some of the complaints on this recipe is that it sticks to the foil. So if you have a foil that already has a non-stick surface, like this one has a dull side, I think that will make it a lot easier for when um, uh, you, it's time to cool down and cut into pieces. So there goes the bacon. Um, and then here goes the, the brown sugar. I, you could put some of the brown sugar down first, then the bacon. It, it probably will be just as delicious. Um, if you don't want to have so much brown sugar, uh, say it's too sweet for you, uh, you can alter that as well. I think it goes on based on taste. It's also, um, it's just that it has a foundation of the dough. And then we're just gonna top this with another quarter cup of the syrup and bake it at 325 for 25 minutes. And then it's to, just to let it cool down for about 10 or so minutes before you chop it into pieces. Let me just get this part done. And then we'll put her in the oven. So this one I'm gonna drizzle more um, evenly. It smells already delicious. And it's like candy, like a savory candy if you've never had it before. All right, I'll put it in the oven and remember 325 for about 25 minutes. Okay, here is the final product. And of course, there's my sample eater. That's my Jonas. Here, I'll take the plate. Okay. You didn't have to shove it all in your mouth, but I guess it's so good, right? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Good. 
You like that? Would you eat it? Wait, are you going to eat more? Well, my mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that you enjoyed um, following me with making this bacon crack, and I hope you try it. It's really easy, super yummy, and your house smells amazing. So next time, I'll be rolling out some other pumpkin recipes, I think, and perhaps I'll even show you another one of my sons. Well, I hope you have a nice day, and remember, this is how Inez rolls.